my beautiful and amazing family how are you all doing thank you very much for always supporting me i really do appreciate if to those the first time you are coming across this channel this is agatha progress channel on youtube and i come across your way every blessed day as you can see in this channel we react to all videos and in this channel all opinion is highly needed in the comment section and if you love what i am doing in this channel why don't you click on that button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that we become one big family all right my wonderful family this video we're about to watch i don't know how you felt about this video but i do hope you got some lesson from it all right my wonderful people let's go straight into the video now watch it Good afternoon, dear friends. Good evening. Good night, depending on where you are. My name is Clinton, a Biafran freedom singer. There is information I got yesterday night because I don't sleep regarding Mazen Namde Kano, the great hero, freedom fighter for Biafra nation. I don't sleep. I keep on making research, following programs to be getting information. I have a video to play for you. So what you will do now is to share this information. A man that I guess that comes from Kenya, information he gave, how Mazen Mamdekano was arrested in at Kenya Airport. Please listen and as you are watching, share this video. Don't comment, don't like. What you have to do is to share this information to the world. Circulate the information. Let the world get this information. Hello. 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 Good evening. Go on. Yes, and I am calling from my location. I want to give you interesting information about the kidnap or arrest of uh, Nandi Kano. Okay. Where are you calling from, sir? Um, don't worry about it. I'm calling you from my location. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. You see, there is a big fight happening in Nigeria. It is not about Nandi Kano and uh, any other person. It is Namdi Kano against the North. Okay. First time, um, if you can recall, there was a time uh, some people came came about and said they are placing a bounty on Mazin Namdi Kano. Yes. That bounty was a meeting held at the back before those people came to uh, uh, broadcast that meeting. They went to they went to a backyard meeting, and they, they concluded that they are going to act as if they are placing a bounty. Before they came to announce that, they have already made a plan. If Nandi Kano was not already in their possession, they have already made a plan to capture him, or he was already in their possession. Their plan was to eliminate him in Kenya. But when they captured him at the airport, he created a scene. The police were, were now shouting, terrorist, terrorist, and people started running away. They created that, he created that scene. That scene he created was his savior. If not, they were supposed to kill him in Kenya. Then they took him to an undisclosed location. Where they kept him for some days. They kept him there to see the reaction of the friends. But their reactions was not heard of. They never did anything. And somebody told them that if they killed Nandi Kano in Kenya, that he has already created awareness at the airport. So it has been known that he was caught at Kenya. Then they contacted the Nigerian uh, counterparts to come and take him up. Nigerians were reluctant because that was not the initial agreement. When they came and they brought him back to Nigeria, you can recall that uh, 
Mami came to make a speech. Yes. First of all, he spoke in Hausa language. Why did he speak in Hausa language? Because he is addressing the 75 Northern Consensus Forum. That were the people they already planned to, to, to make a broadcast as if they are place, placing a bounty on Unam de Kano to make it look like they are powerful. And today they also came to thank Malami and uh, Buhari. Yes. The reactions of Biafras are very porous. They are not doing anything. Oh, God bless I you. am telling you that. <laughs> I am telling you that they have over overwhelmed you. The military is powerless. All the arms of government, they are powerless. Trust me. If you start a war in Nigeria, you are going to lose. You are going to lose. There is no two way, no two ways about it. These people called the Fulani, they are in 20, 20 African countries. About 16 million of them are unsettled. Now, Nigeria is going to be their homeland. It will be very difficult. Very, very difficult. And now, listen to what is going to happen to Unam Kano. Two things are going to happen to him. He might never come out of detention. His case might never be heard. When he comes, they will say, we are joined to so, so dead. It will keep happening until their agendas are completed. If the, if the peer friends or anybody wants to save something now, you have to rise up. I am not saying you should fight. You cannot fight. But if there is something you can do, do it now. You know what to do. I understand, 100%. They are going to kill him. If that is the only thing they achieve, it will be very good for them. It's an obstacle to them. It's blocking, the, it's blocking their way. Yes, he is blocking their way. Nandi Kano was supposed to be killed in Kenya. But at the airport, at the airport, he made some noise. Those noise created a scene. People wanted to come close and he, uh, the police started shouting, terrorists, terrorists. People started running away thinking that Nam Kano might be holding a bomb because they already called him a terrorist. Because of that noise, that is the only thing that saved him. Assuming he kept quiet, he would have been killed and nobody would hear of it. Fulanis are everywhere. If you know what is good, tell your people, tell them to rise up. Tell them to rise up and fight for that man. I love that man. I don't know him. He is not from my tribe. I don't really know him, but I like him. Thank you so much. Take good care of yourself. I wish you the best. Thank you very much. As you can see, what uh, hear what that man is saying. He said that Fulanis are in 20 African countries and they are unsettled. Mazen and the Kano have been telling and screaming, shouting this thing to the whole so-called Nigeria, not only in Biaf for Biafrans to hear, that these people are coming from different African countries to come and take over your lands. And many people were against this prophet, Mazen and the Kano. This man that brought this information out, I think is either is one of the uh, officers maybe in the airport that saw what was going on or maybe he is a traveler that saw what was going on. You heard what he said. This man is not a Biafra man, he's not a Nigerian. I guess he is from Kenya because when they speak, when Kenya in, in intonation, when they speak, I know their intonation. So I guess this man is from Kenya, if not any other part of Africa country. As you are watching, circulate this video. Let people get this information that this man brought out. I got this 
information last night when I was following this Our Brother program. Now I will read something for you about Kenya. One of their uh, leaders that Britain wanted to kill, that ran to Biafra land.